only muchacho ser tres here. I figured starting off 2021 would be just that much better if I came out with a healthy habits video for you guys. Uh, this one is a little bit different because I'm going to be taking you guys throughout my day and it's a little bit more of a vlog style and you can have a peek into my healthy habits in my daily routine. So I hope that you enjoy this and let's begin. So let me just say this right now. I almost dislike when people tell me to do what I just told you to do and it's move your body because people have an opinion and idea of how you should move your body when really you know best. So I encourage you to move your body every single day. It can be something as simple as stretching. It can be something a little bit more intense like Pilates has been such a burner for me recently. So moving your body just puts you in a good mood. Uh, moving your body also helps with all of your endorphins to really move and rush through your body. You're going to be happier throughout your day. You're going to be more awake in the morning. It's such a nice way to start your day. And this goes hand in hand with that, but just paying attention to what your body is telling you. I used to be someone that would wake up at 5 a.m. to work out. Not recently because I've been so tired. Just, let's look at it. <gasps> yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea why I'm so tired. But yes, listen to your body and give your body exactly what it needs at that time in your life. So I just hopped out of the shower and there's a couple other things that I need to share with you guys that are really important and years ago I didn't care and now I definitely do. Choosing body care and skin care that actually works, I would say is a healthy habit. It is something where you have to look and see what's in here, the ingredients, the amount of fragrance, all that stuff. And then in that, also buying things that just don't smell good. You know, you smell something and you're like, oh, this smells good. I'm going to buy it and wash my face with it. I think we need to be careful about that kind of stuff since being more aware of what is in my products. I'm so out of breath. I'm so freaking out of breath. I really like being aware of what is in my products. And you guys should go ahead and do your research too. All my products are not perfect, but they're a step above average or at least a few steps. Honestly, I've been using this Necessaire body exfoliator. It has bamboo charcoal, it has salicylic, glycolic, and lactic acids. It just makes my skin amazing. And if you are thinking this honeycomb mitt is so cool, you're right. And it's probably a sign you should ditch your loofah. I will have it linked down below. It's made from recycled materials and it is amazing. And then on top of that, simplify your body care skincare routine. I've literally just been sticking to a face wash, my ordinary niacinamide and zinc, which I'm gonna put on now. My skin is still purging a little bit from this. You see kind of right through here. Almost done and my skin is feeling so good and my towel is falling down. So I put that on, just let it kind of sit there. And then I go in with a 50 SPF. This one is by Bioderma. It doesn't clog my pores. I'll try to link what I can down below for you guys, but this is so good and it's so important just to protect your skin. Honestly, for aging, I could care less. I'm not too worried about aging, but things like skin cancers and other things do exist and SPF can really help to counteract that. Also, this entire time, girl has been hydrating. This feels really weird just walking around in a towel. I read a report that 80 plus percent of the people that have the ability to drink the amount of water that they should be in a day do not. And I think that is wild and crazy. One of my good friends always says, make sure breakfast and lunch fuels your body and drink the amount of water at least you should be drinking in a day. And it changes everything. And it does. It, honestly, it truly does. Hydrate. And look at this bed. Look, you guys, you know what's coming. Let your bed breathe. If you're not new here, my towel's falling <laughs> Then you've heard this a million times, but I'm a huge believer in letting my bed breathe. When me and Kieran wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is pull off all of our blankets, lay them flat on the floor. The amount of heat and moisture that our body lets off is insane. So so it's a good idea before you decide to make your bed or you can just let your bed breathe all day. I do that sometimes. I'm not judging you. It's just good to let that heat and moisture rise up out of that space. We also keep an air purifier in here, which is good at making this just continually smell nice. And then on top of that, the reason I'm kind of walking around in a towel right now is because I'm letting my 
body breathe. If I wasn't on film, I would literally just walk around naked in my bedroom for a bit. But it's important to let your body breathe, especially after you shower. Again, moisture and heat can just easily come out from your body instead of sitting underneath your clothes all day. With all that being said, that was really productive. I feel like we talked about a lot of healthy habits. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I love getting dressed for the day. Yes, sometimes I'm in something very comfy and sometimes I'm in jeans. Usually I'm in jeans, but I love getting ready for the day. I'll do my hair, a little bit of makeup, and I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm still very thirsty and hungry, so I wanna hydrate and fill my tummy up a little bit, and we're gonna do that with a smoothie. You knew that was coming. I'm a huge smoothie person. I would say less so in the winter months because I'm freezing cold all the time. But I still like to have a smoothie once a day or once every couple days. And the reason why is because I can really fill myself, hydrate no! myself, and eat a bunch of things that I'm either lazy to have, like vitamins. I have beef liver vitamins. I have some hum vitamins. And I honestly, I hate having vitamins. I hate them. I hate them so much. I choke on them. They're stuck in my throat for such a long time. The meme of the guy getting stuck in the slide was like, that was exactly how I no! when I swallow pills. Yeah. I don't fully swallow them. Anyway, having a smoothie is really yummy. I have a sweet tooth in the morning and this just kind of helps conquer it. Not like it's the morning anymore. We're like borderline afternoon and I haven't eaten anything. So anyway, I'm gonna to put together a nice smoothie. We're gonna have almond butter, maca, some protein, cause girl worked out, and also some collagen to make us beautiful. I don't like things getting so big and out of control that when I actually tackle them, I don't want to. That really goes for dishes. So a healthy habit is to make sure that after every single meal, you actually are cleaning up. Wiping down the table, putting the dishes in the dishwasher, putting away condiments, that kind of stuff will just simplify your life and it'll also just make sure that there is a constant order because order can so easily just slip away. And I find if I am on top of my dishes, if Kieran is on top of the dishes, then things get done and it's also just nice and clean for the next meal time. And actually the same goes with laundry, which I'll share with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but one of the, this is so heavy, oh my word. We're putting you down, I just can't hold you. It's like carrying bricks on a stick. In my smoothie that I had, I made sure to add some vitamin D. You take vitamin D in pill form, you can take it in liquid form, you can take it in powder form, which is what I did for my smoothie. Even people that live at the equator don't get the amount of vitamin D their body needs. I live in Canada, and I definitely don't get the amount of vitamin D that my body needs because it is dark here, winter, fall, and spring. Some sometimes even summer. On my mom's side of the family, uh, MS is a really huge thing and the doctor says the main thing you can do to counteract that is vitamin D and also collagen. Kids are screaming downstairs, which is what I also had in my smoothie. Arm strength, where are you? Okay, what was the other thing I was gonna do? What was I going to do? Oh, I'm gonna stretch. Oh. 
Oh, that's actually a good thing. You all should stretch every day. I am going to do a couple things here. First thing I'm gonna do is some laundry. I've said this so many times and like what I said when I was doing dishes, don't let things pile up. Don't let dishes pile up. Don't let work pile up. Don't let chores pile up and do not let laundry pile up. We all have more minimal types of wardrobes and we actually have to continually do laundry to make sure that we have continual clothes to wear every single day. So that's important, but also there's nothing worse than just so much laundry you have to do I'm not all about that so I encourage you guys do one load of laundry every single day sometimes I do our clothes sometimes I do towels sometimes I do delicates it always changes up but let's go ahead and do that and get that started and very soon done for the day and we can carry on with a bunch of other tasks speaking of other tasks making a list of things that you have to do is so fantastic. If you're like me and you're busy and you're doing stuff, you have kids, maybe you work, maybe you do both. <laughs> I do both. <laughs> My mind can get pretty scatterbrained. So I make sure that everything is written down, categorized, planned, things I have to do, things I have to remember, things that I have to address and oh so much more. Addresses, money, bills. I even have a tab under here called friends. I write down what my friends have told me or things to pray about for my friends and I check in with them. That's actually like a really awesome thing. Make lists. It's gonna keep your life so organized. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do some laundry. Is that my present? You want me to have it up or you want me to Is that my present? It's not your apron. I really wanted an apron. Did you buy me an apron? Did you buy me an apron for Christmas? No. You didn't? No. Oh, that's so sad. I really want you know what I, I bought you a prince. Oh, <gasps> multiple. <laughs> You bought me multiple aprons. Oh, Kieran, these are so cute. Oh, there's a pink one. There's a pink one. There's a pink one. So cute. Oh, look at it. It's a, I love this. Look at it. And I figured this is a healthy habit. Hey, no, <laughs> Having that. aprons? Not not doing as much laundry because you're I love open. it. It feels good. Like yeah. it feels Can nice. And you see? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I can just Calvin. Yeah. This is Mama. There we go. Voila. Look at you, professional. These are from Lithuania. These are from Lithuania. These are cool, Kieran. Can you go find eight things? Yeah, okay. Find eight things. Me and Ivy are going to do some homeschool, which here's the thing. Okay, so the next healthy habit is really feed and fuel your kids and your family. Ivy is huge into games and school. And whenever I give her the opportunity to really like do that and focus in on that with her, her heart just like explodes and we have to hose it off the walls. Like she loves that. Calvin and Elizabeth, it's a lot more like book focused when it comes to family time. What do you like to do, Karen? Be by myself. <laughs> Karen likes to be by himself. That's how I feel with family time. That's how I feel his heart. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do with Ivy. Some homeschooling. We're focusing in on math. And I'm literally, I feel like I wanna just wear this the rest of the day. Isn't this cute? I'm like, I'm cute. Look, I'm so cute. I like it. These are cute. Yeah, I thought, I thought it would be too big. Okay, go get your school book and your colors and put Glad it in there. Glad that you're happy with it. I like it a lot. They were $1,000 each. Can I wear them both at the same point? How many? How many do we have here? Seven. Pencil? So put your pencil down. Good, seven. Bye. 
children. We are at a couple more hours of daylight. Pretty soon it's gonna be very dark. Before it actually ends up being quite dark, I like to tidy the house. This is my 15 minute Wonder Woman power. This is my Wonder Woman power right here. It's just being able to clean up the house really quick, organizing, getting things done. Because as soon as the sun goes down, I get super tired. And this is the time to do it when it's light out. So a healthy habit is like take 15 minutes, power through, get whatever you need to get done. For me, it's a lot of cleaning and I also want to hang up the laundry that we previously put through because it's uh, it's not able to go into the dryer because That's it'll amazing. shrink if it goes in the dryer. That's amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. Whoa, look, look, look. <laughs> Distracted. Okay, let's do this. Look at, look at, look. could go to sleep right now, but we're not going to because I'd be irrelevant. <laughs> well, you'd be a relative. I need a power through. You'd be a relative. <laughs> a relative. Okay, so the kids are loud, cleaning up their puzzle. The kids, we're gonna do turkey sandwiches. I wanna have like that veggie patty with an egg. That sounds so good. It makes me angry. I'm not eating that right now. That sounds so good. One, what else? Two. What else? What else? Indeed. Oh. It's cold. Oh, this is a healthy habits video. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? We do videos. Hugely encourage people to cook from home. Once a week, usually me and Kieran will have a date night at home and we'll order in food like sushi or some like local burgers. But besides that, we eat at home and it is so nice. We save lots of money. It's good for us. Good for you guys. It's good for everybody. Do this because oh my god! Can you close your eyes a little bit, more? It smells so good. So kids are gonna have turkey sandwiches. sandwiches. I'm gonna have like a veggie patty, it good? egg, and then we're gonna start our nighttime routine. so tough. I am in my nice bathrobe and I'm getting ready for bed. So my next healthy habit is definitely starting your nighttime routine before you get too sleepy and lazy and then you end up not doing it anymore. It's so easy to put things off and be like, oh, I'll do it later. And then all of a sudden you're asleep and you haven't done your skincare or you haven't brushed your teeth or you haven't done that thing that you wanted to do before bedtime. So do your routine before you get too sleepy to do it. And as you saw before, I'm very tired. I have a little bit of energy right now though, so I'm going to get my nighttime routine done. At this point of the day, I have shut off my phone. I can use my phone if I wanna listen to podcasts and sermons, that's it. I don't scroll on my phone, I don't play with my phone. My phone, even if it's on a low light with like the yellow light, that night shift, I'm still so 
uh, awake from using it and it's less the light and more of just like my brain working over time just kind of soaking up all this information and stuff so start your routine before you get too sleepy shut off your phone as well also find a really nice routine that you like for me my nighttime routine consists of winding down with my skincare that's kind of like step one. Once the kids are in bed, I hop right into skincare, taking off my makeup, soothing my skin. It's just something that I love and it feels like a treat and I really do feel so good lying down in bed, having all of this done. Also struggling with acne. I like my skincare routine because I just know I'm taking care of myself my skin and like what I said this morning simplify your skincare routine for me it's just like a balm a reusable cotton pad that I can take off a bunch of my makeup and then let me get my cleanser I've been loving my whipped greens by pharmacy so I'm gonna get my Luna nice and wet I'm gonna link a bunch of things down below use just a little bit of that and just really start to cleanse my skin. But that like pulsation feels so good on like tired skin. Mm. And this cleanser is my new favorite. I just love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse. Whoa. <laughs> I was just saying on my Instagram stories today, I was having a little bit of like messy bun envy and people were like, why? And I was like, okay, this is why. This, all this, this is why. I can't properly put this up, it's just, it's a struggle. Okay, I'm gonna use my niacinamide and zinc by Ordinary again. I use it in the morning and night and it's just a little bit that goes such a long way. It's really helped to purge this acne that's just been sitting under my skin for so long and made worse by having to wear masks. So I'm really thankful for that. Mm, it's lovely. For my acne scars, I'm using a bit of Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. The stuff doesn't break me out, but it is really nice for my scarring. And I mostly just focus this on my chin area, a little bit around my nose where I get most of my scarring. And then my Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. I just use this on my eyes as like a super intense kind of like eye cream treatment. It feels so good. Take it right onto my eyelashes and right up to my brows and even on my cheekbones a little bit. It is so now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. I'm using my Grin products, which are so cute, so good. The best natural toothpaste. I can link my coupon code and Grin down below if you wanna check it out. Having good oral care is so important. Your body will be happier, your teeth will be happier, and just mind-wise knowing that your toothpaste and toothbrush is made of good things feels good. It feels really good. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, and now we're gonna hop into bed. I like to actually be in bed like a solid hour before I want to go to sleep. And yes, some days I wanna be asleep by 8.30. That's just how it is. Cause again, I'm just super sleepy, but one of the main reasons I want to get to bed early is just because it winds down my body. I like that I don't go into bed and hopefully fall asleep within a couple minutes. Like I can kind of just really take my time. I have some hand lotions. I have my red light therapy bulb. It's not plugged in. I can really kind of treat and pamper myself. And then I always have a book right now. I'm reading Before the Crown by Floor Harding. It is about Queen Elizabeth before she became Queen Elizabeth. And it's a pretty good historical novel. I think it's really cute, but I love having a lot of time to read and just really truly relax before shutting my eyes and going to bed. I really enjoy being in bed, shutting off all electronics. I said electronics, so interesting. Electronics. Shutting that all off and just <sighs> enjoying this. Speaking of enjoying this, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share with you guys a bunch of healthy habits that I just do all the time and maybe you do them as well and you felt encouraged and good about those habits that you've already created or maybe you're thinking about introducing some of these new habits. They're really simple but incorporating things like this into your life can feel so good or maybe there's some other things that would make you feel really, really great in your daily life. So thank you oh so much for watching. I'm going to read my book and I'll talk to you guys and see you in the next video. Bye!